Okay, now that we've talked about how to get the code snippets from Postman, we can use that to integrate into our whatever our custom application is. So let's do that. Okay, so here I'm back in Postman, and what I want to do is I want to integrate. I want to grab the uh, code snippets really quickly. And again, if I, if if I'm working with a developer or if I am the developer, um, either way, I can either share it with the development team after I've done my deep analysis of uh, the API and how to use it, or I myself will take it and put it in my code. So what I'm going to do first here is go to code snippets, and here I see different examples of different code snippets in different languages of how to retrieve that REST API. So let's go ahead and start with the first one with the create session. And I'm gonna go over here to the code snippets. And in my case, I'm using a mobile app. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the uh, Swift URL session. All right, so here's my example and I can copy and paste this and again, so this is going to also help guide the developer. Sometimes the code may need to be tweaked to kind of fit the, the design, or maybe there's a slightly different framework. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy this here, or use a little copy button, and move over to my custom application. So you may recognize this from the first demo. Uh, I'm going to go here and just kind of show or demonstrate how I'm making a call to that REST API. So this is the uh, auth service, and this is what my code looks like. In my case, I'm using a, a, a Alamo Fire, and but you can tell here that it looks very similar to the example or to the code that came from Postman. So it's uh, so getting that code over is very helpful to to see on this side. Now again, if I go to the uh, node service, the server node service, I'm making a call here to get that data, and if I go take a look at the get server nodes, code snippet, in the URL session, I can see that it's looking also very similar. It's getting to the data, it's making a call to the request, and it's returning the final data to my to uh, to the to the to the program. Um, here it's setting the same things that we saw over here in the request. It's adding the the values now, some of these things you would have to remove. So for example, there's some things here that are very specific to Postman. Um, so those would have to be cleared out, but then the rest of the items would uh, move, move cleanly over to your development environment. So hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully you can see a way where you can use our REST API, use it, use it quickly to test, test it quickly, and then to integrate it into your custom application and be up and running in no time. Thank you.